What is shaking, everyone? I'm back. I've got some more mail to open up here. I've been buying a lot lately because I've been selling a lot lately. So, I need to get opening. If I don't open it, I can't list it. So, here we go. No idea what's in any of these, to be honest with you. Do I even need to say it again? Save your bubble mailers. They can be reused, especially if you uh, are a seller. There's no reason. You gotta like that. You gotta like that when they double. Double bubble is what I call it. Come on, baby. The double bubble. Very nice. All right, first card of this video is going to be, there it is. God, I've been buying a lot of this guy. 2019 Panini Prism Silver Easton Stick Rookie Card. I won't get into it too much. I've talked about him a lot. The North Dakota State Bison alumni, right, Tony? Um, I got this cheap. I mean, I want to say I paid 10 bucks for it and it's a silver prism. So granted it's a nine, but I don't usually buy tens cause I can't afford them. I think that, uh, before the end of the season, this guy is going to be your starter in LA. That's all there is to it. The LA Chargers. So huh? anyhow. Next card. I wish I could pre-open these, but I feel if I do that, that's kind of defeating the point of the video. Okay, next card. This is a good one. This is the first graded Willie Mays card of any kind that I own. It's 1965 Tops National League RBI Leaders. With Ken Boyer, Ron Santo, and Willie Mays. I got this card for next to nothing. I want to say six bucks delivered. I think it's just, it must have been an oddly listed auction. That's something I do a lot too, especially now that I'm not doing the probe steam thing. Uh, I look for stuff that's listed funny. It's misspelled in the heading or I don't know people just don't always list stuff right and when they make errors listing it there's definitely less competition for it so I'll go through and I'll search shoot I'll search all sports cards at some point so I have that kind of time and just see what the heck's out there but that's a great way to find stuff that's uh underpriced is just by really you know taking some time and and searching and going through everything that is out there but I'm pretty happy about this, especially for six bucks. It's PSA four, so condition's obviously not great. I'm surprised it didn't get a off center. I don't understand how they judge what's off center and what's not. I mean, how is that not considered an off center card? Fine by me. It is what the slab says it is, so that'll work. But 1964 RBI leaders, Willie Mays. Just cool. 111 RBIs. I got a really good deal on that card. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Next card. I am really struggling to open this stuff. Again, I guess it's probably because I try to open them without damaging them too much. I'm sure that's the main reason for my problem. But I'm telling you, I haven't spent a cent on bubble mailers, and I've sold a lot of cards. Next up, real nice job packaging this, guys. This card came in, as I show you my entire address. Feel free to come over. Uh, 
a cardboard mailer, no padding or anything like that. Um, not wrapped, not even in a card sleeve, but luckily it made it here, so I guess I shouldn't complain. I think we all know what this baby is, 1972 Tops Carlton Fisk Rookie Card. SGC graded at a 3.5, very good condition. I got this card for like 10 bucks. And really, I mean, well, that corner is really bad. But other than that, it's not in that, it's not in too bad its shape. I mean, definitely a personal collection card, not something that I'm looking to sell by any means. I guess I could always change my mind about that. I don't know, but probably not. Carlton Fisk, rookie card, 72 tops. Who else we got on here? Cecil Cooper and Mike Garman. Cecil Cooper had a good career. Well, I'm not saying he's a Hall of Famer or anything, but he had a good career. Played a long time, too. Okay. Next we have... The tape's what's hard to cut. I probably should replace my blade at some point, too. Maybe next time I'm out at the Walmart, I'll grab some more blades. The blade's good, but the tip of it's not, so it's kind of screwy. Do we have another double bubble? No. They did what I did, actually. I did buy a handful of these. I don't remember what the size is on them. Nine by... I don't know, but they're just paper, but they're good for one card. I wrap the card in bubble uh, bubble wrap and then put it inside of that mailer, but that seems to work pretty well for me. I so haven't had any complaints yet. I mean, the card's wrapped in bubble tape, it's just the outside is plain paper, so I don't know. seems to work pretty well at this point. Looks like we got some raw cards here. I wish there was a way to tell. I could do a whole show on raw cards. And of course, we've got more Easton stick. I got on a, another Easton uh, tangent one night, and that's why I got all these. But I was buying these lots for like five bucks. I think they were 99 cents, and then whatever the delivery was. We've got the. Easton Stick Panini Illusions rookie card. I don't know if this is something special, like if it's some kind of a refractor, if this is just what the Illusions cards look like. I've got some Illusions, don't get me wrong. I think this is uh, a notch up. I'll have to do a little more homework on it. I bought it as part of a lot. The big card that I wanted out of the lot was, of course, the Easton Stick Panini Prism rookie card. Got probably five or six of those now. And we've got a, an Easton Stick Absolute rookie card. 45 total touchdowns during his 2018 senior season at North Dakota State. 45 total touchdowns. Wow. Probably the smartest guy I've ever been around, and I coach Carson Wentz as well, Coach Chris Kyleman said. I'm telling you, he's coming. And a 2019 Prestige Easton Stick rookie card. Oh, I hope this guy does well, because I am heavily invested in Easton Stick at this point. By heavily, I mean probably about, whoa! Probably about 100 bucks. I mean, nothing too crazy, but... That's heavy for me. Okay, next up we have got... I also save all the bubble wrap too. It's so easy just to rewrap this stuff and send it back out. Try not to damage it. Let's see what we got here. I even bothered to do that. That was probably pointless. Oh, this card I got for like $4. Delivered. Only reason I bought it. 
but it's a 2018 score scorecard Josh Rosen rookie card. You want to talk about a, and it's Beckett graded 9.5 gem mint condition, gold, gold label. Does not have the subgrades on it. I don't know how Beckett determines. I don't know if you send a card in and tell them you don't want the subgrades or I don't know. I don't know how Beckett determines whether it gets subgrades or not. That, that part doesn't make sense to me. But here's the 2018 score, Josh Rosen scorecard, rookie card. This doesn't have his NFL team on it yet, so it's like a college deal. But, again, my thought with it is, you know, you want a real dark horse quarterback that you can buy for almost nothing right now. You got Josh Rosen. I can't believe that he's just not good enough to play in the NFL. I mean... Seems odd to me. I know Tannehill came into Miami and played well, but it's still Ryan Tannehill. He's another guy who is consistently injured. And I still think Rosen's probably going to get his shot. And you can buy him for nothing right now. So this is one of those ones I'm going to hold and hope hope that uh, hope he gets a shot and does well. But again, for 4 bucks for a, a Beckett 9.5, I, I had no issue with that. Thought it was a pretty good deal. All right, now we got the big bubble mailer. People that go to the store and buy these bubble mailers and spend, I mean, I can't believe, I'm sure there's places to get them cheaper, but I looked at like Walmart and Target. I mean, they're crazy expensive. I'm not paying, well, then again, I guess the low end stuff that I saw, I can't afford to take another dollar hit on the packaging. No way. There'd be no profit. All right. What the hell? I'm trying to figure out what the best way to open this is. Oh, this is a terrible video. Look, I just didn't have my game face on. Didn't have my game face on when I turned the camera on, and, and you guys are all paying for it. But I gotta get some of this stuff open because I gotta get some of this stuff listed. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. 2018 Tops Update US 300 Juan Soto Rookie Card. Beckett graded at a 9.5 gem mint condition. I luckily, this might be the only one, but I started really watching Soto a couple weeks ago because these cards dropped down to like 50 bucks. And you had Acuna going for, you know, 100, whatever the hell he's at now. And Soto was just sitting there. I mean, this guy's got a World Series championship under his belt he's 21 years old i mean i think he's a great player but anyhow after i started buying these the value went up on them tremendously which is awesome i paid 55 dollars i think for this card and i probably will actually sell it i've got a couple raw ones and i'm gonna get graded i'm gonna send a submission off to sgc soon <laughs> So I'll probably sell this one just to uh, keep money going. You know, I need to sell a couple bigger cards to actually make a, a good profit. A lot of these smaller cards that I sell, I make a couple bucks here and there. It's enough to keep me buying more smaller cards, but every now and again I need to have a big hit. And I think this will be a big hit. Bought it for 55 bucks, and I bet you I can sell it for damn near 100 Two, three weeks later, too. It's crazy. I was onto this, uh, not that we're not all onto Juan Soto, but I was onto the prices dropped, so I jumped all over it. Awesome card. I'm excited to have this, actually. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I didn't make it through this last piece, but I've got a ton of mail to open, so I'm just going to keep shooting videos right now and schedule them to upload. Thank you for watching. I'll try to uh, get my shit together and have a little stronger presence uh, in the next video. That's it. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel, comment on the videos, like them, you know, all that stuff. Bye.